All right, whenever you're ready, go for it. Hope this works. Not sure if the sure. solar powered trailer can handle powering the welder, uh, but a few people have asked me if it can, and today we're gonna find out. Hey everyone, Solarpunk Steve here. Today I'm gonna try and fix some damage I caused on my Ego Zero Turn mower deck after I ran into a stump on a client's property I was mowing. Just clip this stump a little too close. Basically pushed the deck into the blades. This guy right here. All right, just need to turn on my inverter. Switch is down here. There we go. Inverter's on. Okay, the lights are currently pulling 53 watts. Let's see what this pulls. Right, before I do any real welding, I want to pull the deck off the mower so I don't damage any electronics uh, in the mower itself with putting all that current through the deck. Yeah, it's really nice you can do this in the field without any uh, tools. I mean, I just did that by hand, which is what I had to do when I initially damaged this thing. How's it going? How you doing? Oh, I've had better days. You got a big hammer? I got this hammer. Just wheeled the welder out. Gonna plug it in. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. But we shall see. Nothing else is charging at the moment. I just have the lights on. Alright, we're at 99%. See if it even powers on. Sounds like it. Hopefully it can fill that gap. Doesn't have to look pretty. It'll just clean it up with a grinder later. I'm just trying to keep grass from getting stuck in there as I'm mowing. I mean, you can take your time and try and stitch it together if you yeah, need. No, yeah. Is it tricky? Yeah. I okay. need to get a wire brush. Okay. I got one right out of here. I'll pull it up. Hey, you didn't shut off the trailer. <laughs> Interesting. It kind of just jumps around at levels. Yeah. Sometimes as low as 600 watts, sometimes almost 2,000. Better settings? Yes. Nice. I think it actually turned out pretty well. Again, it's not structural. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not really a good welder or anything like that. Um, Lauren's learning how to weld, so I think this came out just perfect for what I needed it to. You guys might hate me, but this is all I have lying around and I want to finish this up today. Don't feel like going to the store. That's right where that tear was. Doesn't look perfect, but it'll do the job and uh, keep grass from getting caught and uh, back to mowing. How many of you are mad that I painted that green? now fits a little bit better against the whole thing before this was pushing it out stuff was getting thrown out the side this is still broken i'll figure out some other better way to fix that i usually just shove a stick right in here and that keeps this pressed up and keeps this a little bit tighter i think it's pretty cool we use the solar powered lawn care trailer to fix my lawn care equipment you know powered a welder using just the sun basically I mean, it's not a real high powered welder or anything. We're still just running it off, you know, 120 volts. But the fact that you can do it at all 
I think it's just kind of cool. All right, just put the mower back in, and we've actually still got 99%. So this thing is working great. We've actually got quite a bit of welding to do on my friend's boss. So I'll use the trailer for that too, just to test out how long it can last powering the welder for a while. Um, but this thing is proving to come in handy quite a bit. My dad needed it the other day to do some work out on the front of his property. He doesn't have any battery powered saws. So he just used the trailer, plugged in and ran along the fence and did all the cuts he needed. So anyway, stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next screen.